In this video, we will update a tone match mixer to the latest firmware. In this case, I have a Bose T4S connected by USB to this computer. I have previously downloaded the files and I have them sitting in the downloads folder. There's the T4S the update file and there happens to be one there for a T8. We won't use that right now. And this is a compressed file which I got from the Bose download site that contains the tone match updater software. To make things easier, I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. I call it Bose. So I'm going to copy or move the T4 update file, the BOS file, into the Bose folder. And I'll open the compressed folder and take the application and copy that into the Bose folder as well. That's going to make things easier later. On a Mac, you would do basically the same thing. Create a folder, call it Bose. Make sure that the application and the Bose file that you need are in it. So here's the Bose folder. And it contains the update file and the updater. All right, I'm going to start the updater now. Windows is cautious about this, so I'm going to look for more information and say run it anyway. Now it's running. This is functionally the equivalent to the older L1 updater file that you'll find online here and there. Uh, there's an updated look and it works better with some of the later Mac uh, devices, but uh, you'll see that I'm currently on version 1.1. That's on the tone match mixer that's attached right now. The latest version at the time I'm doing the video is 1.1.4, which was released in November 2018. So I'll click the update button. It goes looking for the appropriate file. You see that it's look. it happens to be looking for it in the same folder where we started the application, which is perfect. This is the file I want. I'll click that and the update starts. I skipped to the end of the update process. No point in watching this go by for several minutes. And that's done. So we can click OK. And there will be a message at the end because the tone edge mixer reset. We can just cancel out of that and we're done. I'm going to check the updater again so you can take a look and see that the firmware is now up to version 1.14, which is current as of the time I made this video. That's it.